Hi guys, it's Owen from Farpoint.org. So in this video we're going to look at the card control. So in the first video I looked at terrain, the basics of maybe saving your own map. Uh, the second video I looked at moving models, uh, how to put status effects on them, how to rotate them, how to get their melee uh, range up. Uh, so the basics of, of how you'd interact with the model on the board. Uh, this time around I want to look at the cards. So I'm player one, so let's open uh, player one's card area. Um, so here you can see uh, my deck. So we do one of the first things you do, which is draw your control hand. This is an unshuffled deck at the start of the game. So I'm going to um, right click on it and select shuffle in this instance. We do have some buttons at the top to facilitate this. So you can see a notification there up the top. This player has shuffled their fate deck. You get these kind of instructions to show when a player is manipulating or working with their cards. It's mostly so you can track what's going on because these are windows that you may not necessarily be looking at. The windows themselves can be zoomed in and out so you can make it smaller and place it somewhere unobtrusively. Um, you can also do something in a window. So for example, if I pull out my control hand, Not a particularly good hand, but there's my hand, and you can close that window, and when you click again, it'll open in the same state it was before. One thing to note here is hidden. These cards are visible to me. Obviously, I own these cards. This, these are my control uh, cards. But if the other player opens this window, which they may, um, they will see the backs of these cards. So they'd see artwork like this for all of these six cards here. They don't see a card until I choose to flip it. So let's do a, a, just a regular flip off the top of the, the deck. And I want to just flip a just a straight uh, flip. There we go. So the 13 of crows. Um, the flip does two things. It pulls the top card off the deck into this area in the middle, and it also um, flips it so the other player can can see it. Um, so it performed a straight flip. Um, hit discard, and all the cards in this middle area here are moved into your discard pile. So let's do that again. Um, and this time, say it's a it's a plus, so two cards are pulled there, and you know you choose whichever you want. You can drag to select them, you can move them over to here. If you have a card manipulation ability to maybe manipulate some of the cards at the top of your deck, you could pull off three cards here, and I'm pulling them off manually as you can see, and they would remain hidden to the other player, and I can place them back there in whatever order I choose. Uh, depending on the, the specific ability. So that allows you to do some of the things. Let's go and have a look at player two's uh, card area. So player two isn't active um, and there's limited number of things I can I can do. Uh, I can shuffle this and it, again there's an order there. You can undo if somebody accidentally does anything so don't forget the undo button on the top left. And if I am allowed to I can manipulate their cards. So say again I have an ability to manipulate the top cards on the deck and these would remain hidden to player two, even though they are his cards, because I have this ability. So it's the equivalent of me taking cards off of my opponent's deck in the real game, looking at them on my hand, manipulating them, and then placing them back on. Um, but again, you can see uh, another player touch player two's deck. This big inf bit of information here, it tells you which player what the player did then. So I can't manipulate somebody's deck without them knowing about it. So say I want to put these back in, in a different order, and there we go. And that's it. That's the basics of, of card manipulation. You've got some uh, interesting things that happen. So if you click the reshuffle button here, let me just zoom this up again. If you hit the reshuffle button in the top right there, it will take all of the discard uh, pile. It'll shuffle it into the deck. And then I could maybe choose to discard some. And as soon as you drop a card on the discard pile, it becomes unflipped so your opponent can see what it was. Uh, so say I'll discard these, um, so maybe just turn two, and pull these cards out and drop them into my control hand. So not particularly lucky hands at the moment. And you can move the cards around uh, as you wish within there. Alright, thanks for watching. That's the, the basics of card manipulation.